Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it, you guys. What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, and I plan on doing the same. Thank you guys for tuning in to my platform. I'm giving you nothing but consistent content every day of the week, okay? I try my best to give you guys consistent commentary, try to give you guys the best content that you, that, that you can enjoy, think about be entertained by, laugh at, all that good stuff, okay? So thank you guys for all the support. Your boy is almost at 44K. Your boy is almost at 44K. I think I'm like maybe about like 70 at this, at the time of me filming this, I'm like 70 um, subs away from like 40K. So shout out to you guys for all the support and all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys continue to subscribe to my platform. But anyways, um, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got on the horizon, okay? Now, as you guys already know, The Real Housewives of Atlanta returns on May the 7th, which means that the Whether You Like It or Not panel returns on May the 8th. Tune in to Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. The six of us come together to discuss The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15. Make sure you guys tune in because we got a great panel on the way for you guys. We are upping it up, okay? We are doing a damn thing. Now, before we get into anything, and as far as the panel is concerned, Josiah will be missing for the first four episodes, okay? He will not be on for the first four episodes. We're going to open up the season with just me, T, Ya, Really B, and Sakina. We're going to open up with us five. And then our special guest, um, like I think Reggie will be the first, so he's going to come in on the second um, El Teddy will be the third, will be the second guest. So he come in on the third episode, and then Aaron comes in on the fourth, and then Josiah returns. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go um along. But make sure you guys tune in to that. So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into today's mess. Okay. Now, um, I just want to say that this is something that I ran across, and you know, I follow this particular blogger on Twitter. And apparently this blogger goes by the name of Ken Barbie. Okay. He's a known blog. Okay. And I do know that he is like, um, like close to Cardi B or whatnot. And, um, he got into it with Nicki Minaj. Um, now I was just, you know, moseying along on lipstick alley in the celebrity, uh, news, uh, section of it. And they had like the screenshots of all of the back and forth between him and Nicki Minaj. Now, apparently Nicki Minaj went on Queen Radio and she threw a little bit of shade at Ken Barbie. There were some people that suspected that she was throwing shade at Armand. But what we do know about the situation with Armand Wiggins is that she did unblock him at one point. Y'all know I watch. I love me some Armand. Y'all know I watch his platform damn near all the time. If I, if I don't catch the shit live, I got to watch the damn replay, okay? But apparently... People was thinking that, you know, she was shading Armand or talking about Armand on Queen Radio the other night. And he even was trending on Twitter. So a lot of people thought she was talking about Armand, but apparently she was saying something about um, Ken Barbie. Now, uh, Nicki Minaj does what she does best. She did what she did, does best, which was throw a little bit of some, some subliminals out there on Twitter. We're going to look at her subliminal post, and then we're going to look at what Ken Barbie said in response to Nicki Minaj. Now, this is what Nicki Minaj said on her Twitter, okay? She says she called him scream ass. She says slice a piece of face ass. And she called him an expira. I guess she means experiment. So that's what Nicki Minaj said. And shout out to LSA. Because if it wasn't for them, I never would have got these damn tweets. Okay, so shout out to y'all. Okay, so that was like the first thing. So that's the first thing with Nicki Minaj. Now, Nicki Minaj was throwing shade at him on Twitter after she got through reading him, I guess, on Queen Radio. Okay, so let's get into what Ken Barbie said. Now, Kim Barbie stated, um, Megan's Law, slice a ham, B-I-T-C-H, Jelani face ass. Imagine waking up at 9 a.m. still huffing and puffing about some shit you started. I got woken up about, about these 12-year-old ass reads, boring and pathetic. I deleted because I was trying to be the bigger person, but this is what her sick at 9 a.m., 
This is what had her sick at 9 a.m. after she started some shit last night. So that was the first thing that Ken Barbie said. Now let's move on to the next. So he said, since you wanted those shots, let's make this clear. I was never kicked out of shit. I was a fan, not even of you, but your music. Then I wasn't because I peeped that you wasn't the victim that you insist on playing and was bullying Lil' Kim, among many others. That's what separates me from your fans. You can't fool me. I work in the industry and everyone has nasty ish to say about you. There is no hate train. Of course, the industry is going to hate you if you behave like a controlling, low vibrational, selfish. OK, y'all see that right. Y'all know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what Ken Barbie said. Okay, so he continued with, um, "Let's be real. You out here paying? You out here paying blocks to post Kaya accomplishments to make yourself feel better when deep down inside you're dying. You are so far behind what should be your peers because you're too busy running around behaving like a forty year old Stan account trying to hold on to yesteryear. Like how you are consistently trying to compete with the Cardis, the Megans, and the Lottos when those should actually." Those should actually never have been your peers. Drake, Rihanna, and Beyonce should have been. And it's eating you up on the inside because you're the only one running around trying to tussle with the new girls. Like you just bought your first house after 15 years in the game on the lawn right after you paid your tax liens. Clearly worried about the wrong thing. Oh my God, he going in on Nikki, child. Okay, so then he followed up with this. You know you crying inside that your song and all these features you dropped made no noise. So a grown-ass woman, a rap queen, has to depend on a 22-year-old to make her relevant. Having your friends give out money to buy your own music is giving Pablo getting high off his own supply. It's, I'm keeping it cute because I can read you about a whole bunch of ish if you try me one more time talking about an experiment. Your life is a social experiment. Your blood is dirty. You want to walk around... You 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 want to talk about ugly when both your brothers look like frogs and got er, blood. Please get the F out my face. I am not your enemy. You are. Oh, Jesus. Then he came along and said, um, imagine waking up. Oh, I already, I already got this up here. So yeah, that's pretty much it from Ken Barbie and Nicki Minaj. Now I must say. And I don't care what nobody got to say about it. He went in on Nikki. He absolutely went in on Nikki with them tweets he did. I, I have never seen nobody go in on her like that. Yeah, like there have been people going in like her. Like I ain't seen nobody go in on Nikki like that since Sheetha. So he, he said everything that a lot of folks want to say about her. And here's my thing with Nikki. Um, as talented as she is, and she is iconic for female rap. Like she definitely is. Like that's not a lie there. But at the same point in time, I just feel like a lot of her, um, her legendary, her being a legend gets erased a lot due to her actions and the way that she act when it comes down to this whole female rap thing and going against all the new girls and, you know, fighting with them and stuff. Because right now, you know, you got Lotto coming for her nick. Um, we already know that she got this long standing beef with Cardi B. Then, you know, she been picking at Megan the Stallion for a while now. Nikki and, and Megan ain't responded. You know what I mean? And she probably not going to respond. She's going to respond to her own little way because she's an Aquarius like myself. And, you know, I don't really be responding when people diss me either. I let them say whatever the they want to say it and I keep it moving. I ain't got time to respond to nobody. So that's basically what Megan is giving. But it's crazy. And a lot of people do say that about Nikki, like about her being an asshole and all that other stuff. A lot of industry people say that we have heard the stories before. So I just feel like everybody ain't lying on Nikki. Like I know a lot of her fans want to make it out like she's a victim and everything, but I don't feel like she is. But at the same time, it's like the way that Ken Barbary went in on her, it was like a personal read. But however, um, this is, I heard through the grapevine that Ken Barbie actually was a Nikki Stan at one point in time and was, you know, I think, I don't know if he had the blog back then, but allegedly he was a Nikki Stan, always praising her. And apparently Nikki paid him, quote unquote, dust. And then he started working with Cardi and started going in on Nikki and all that other stuff. See, here's my thing. This is why I don't want to be close to none of these folks like that. 
because number one, unless you got, unless you understand that this is a job and I got to tell my honest opinion and really keep it a book with you and keep it book with the people that watch me, I don't want to be in your space. Like if you're going to get mad about something that I say, then you don't need to be in my space because this is my opinion. I get paid to get my opinion. Like you don't, you don't pay me to get my opinion. My, the people pay me to get my damn opinion. So it is what it is. That's, that, that's why I've always said I don't ever want to be like too close to people like that in the industry because your opinions start to be jaded. Your content, your commentary begins to come across as biased and things of that nature. And I actually have um, like diff like different types of relationships with certain people that I would never name. And but they know what I give, though. They know that if they're right, I'm on the side of right. They know that if they wrong, I'm going to drag them for being wrong. They know that. They know I don't mean no harm or no malice about it. But my thing is, like, some of these bloggers be in these people's camps. You know what I mean? It's a lot of bloggers that are pro Nikki that are in her camp, and they're going to say things negative about every other female rapper that's in the game, but they're not going to say nothing negative about Nikki. Then you got the pro Cardi blogs where – they're going to drag Nikki all day, every day, but ain't going to say, but they're going to big up the other women in the game, but they only going to drag Nikki. So a lot of people be like, well, and I, and I try to see things from a different standpoint because a lot of people be like these Nikki, these pro Nikki blogs, these pro Nikki blogs, there are pro Nikki blogs. There definitely are pro Nikki blogs, but there are pro Cardi blogs too, that constantly drag Nikki and, but, you know, be ready to, you know, big up other artists just to spite Nikki. And also there are pro Nikki blogs that build Nikki up, but drag all the other female rappers down. And I think it's really ridiculous on both ends. Why not just love the music? Why not just do the commentary, make it biased, fair and balanced, make it unbiased, fair and balanced and keep it moving and get your check that way. You know, cause my channel, my, my, my platform is pro no one. I'm pro Scotty by nature TV. I'm pro the Scotty gang. That's what I'm pro. Okay. So I'm here to give you my honest opinion, whether I like you or not. And that's just the truth. But I will say that this was a drag out cause he did go in on Nikki. I'm not going to sit up here and hold you. He did go in on Nikki hard in them tweets. He did. But I want to know what you guys think about that. I didn't listen to the Queen Radio. I just looked at some little cliff notes. You know, people were going in and talking about it. And it got wind back to him and stuff. So we're going to see what you guys think. What do you guys got to say in the comment section? What are your thoughts on this? Leave it down there below in the comment section. So with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram and my TikTok, it will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye, y'all. What's up, guys? It's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at I am underscore Tramel. That's I am underscore T-R-A-M-E-L. Check me out, I hope to hear from you.